light, color, beauty, function, art, science. Glass is often used as a window into the outside world. Conversely, when crafted with skillful hands, it can be a window into the soul. Kitengela glass creates both artistic and functional recycled glass products. A clear commitment to people and the environment sets this place apart. Oh, and the striking artwork? That will catch your attention too. Once a design has been drawn on paper, various shades of stained glass are selected and cut into the panels that make up the final piece. A diamond glass cutter is traced along the design, after which the heavy rounded end is used to lightly break through the pane. A pair of pliers is used to remove the smaller sections, and the rough edges scraped off with the serrated teeth. The edges are then covered with copper foil, which will allow for the pieces to be soldered together. The parts are then put back in place and soldered with a filler metal and soldering iron. Many shapes, designs and forms can be created with this method. Here the glass is formed around a three-dimensional mold, achieving a rounded effect. A different technique for producing glass products is the dalle de verre or slab glass method. A design is sketched on a piece of paper with a metal frame attached. Different colors of glass slabs are then selected, marked and shaped to fit the design. The gaps are then filled in with cement and allowed to set. Once the cement has set, the paper and excess cement is cleaned off with water, a wire brush and a small spatula. This achieves a strong, beautiful, translucent effect for architecture, furniture and art. Furnaces fueled with used engine oil heat colored glass to its melting point of about 1,090 degrees centigrade. A steel blowpipe is preheated, then dipped into the bowl to collect the molten glass on its end. It is then rolled and shaped on wet paper known as a marva, which forms a cool skin on the exterior of the molten glass. Air is then blown into the pipe, creating a bubble in the glass. The glass is then reheated and molded further, using tweezer-like tools known as jacks to the required length. The sharp edges form clear joints in the glass as it is being worked. A glob of molten glass is then rolled onto the end of the bubble and shaped using a wooden mold known as a block to form the base. After heating again, a small glob of molten glass is fused to the base and the top end cut off. The glass is heated and shaped a few more times until it achieves the desired shape using the jacks and blocks. After which it is cut from the forming rod and placed in a slightly cooler furnace called an annealer to cool slowly so that the glass doesn't crack from rapid cooling. A truly versatile and beautiful material we all use daily. Kitengela glass, made in Kenya.